Well, we've had one hell of a couple of months. DJI Mavic Pro announced back in September, which is their first mobile fold foldable portable drone. The news last week about the GoPro Karma being recalled because it drops out of the sky for health and safety reasons. And now DJI have announced the successor to the Phantom 4, the Phantom 4 Professional. The Phantom 4 was an exciting product. It was the first of DJI's drones to have an obstacle avoidance system built in. It has two sensors here at the front, and it also has two sensors underneath. Essentially what that meant was that when you're using the intelligent flight modes and you had the right settings enabled, that the drone wouldn't fly into trees. And most importantly, when you use the go home function, it will climb above obstacles in order to avoid them in order to come back to the location that you've set it at. It was a real remarkable breakthrough in drone technology. And what DJI have now done is they've added that same obstacle avoidance system onto the back. So if the drone is going backwards, if you're doing a follow me shot and, and, and the drone is panning away from you, it will avoid obstacles or, or it will indeed come to a stop. And they've also added onto the side of the drone some infrared sensors. So they work slightly differently. You won't get the bars on the controller in the same way that you do for the forward facing and rear facing sensors that tells you how far you are from an object, slightly more deep rooted into the application and, and software on the drone. But essentially if you're, if you're panning left or uh, indeed strafing left or strafing right, it will stop the drone from going into an obstacle and causing a very expensive accident from happening. So absolutely remarkable that DJI have done this. Their, uh, their cycles of releasing products broadly has been two to three iterations of the Phantom per year. We've seen that with the Phantom 1 followed by the Phantom 2 within the same year in 2013. We then saw an iteration of, uh, of uh, a go-between drone uh, between the Phantom 1 and the Phantom 2 in 2014 um, and, 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 and indeed the Phantom 3 had uh, three versions of that. It had the Advance, it had the Professional and it had the Standard. So really, really exciting. GoPro should be substantially worried about their, their business model as it stands at the moment. Um, a major recall of their flagship drone whilst DJI are in the process of building on what was already the best product available on, on the market. In addition to the Phantom 4 Professional, they're also uh, releasing a new version of the Inspire, so the Inspire 2. Now this, this also has some pretty exciting new features on it. So it features the same obstacle avoidance system of the Phantom 4, so forward facing and bottom facing sensors to stop you flying into stuff. Doesn't have the rear facing, side facing sensors that the Phantom 4 Professional has, but it now also features two independent cameras so that you, you have a, uh, essentially a decoupled system where someone can fly the Inspire 2 and someone can control the main camera of the Inspire 2 so the pilot of the Inspire 2 can see through the forward-facing camera in a, in a first-person perspective if you will and the cameraman if you like has full 360 degree control of the camera that sits underneath the, the, the body of the drone so some really really exciting products should should you buy them well I would say if you're a Phantom 4 owner, the, the difference between the Phantom 4 and the Phantom 4 Professional is not enough to fork out what is going to be approximately £1,200. If you've placed an order already for the Mavic Pro, I absolutely would hang on to that. That's the drone that's caught my eye. It has all of the features of the Phantom 4 and some on top in a very small compressed foldable package and it's quite quite the challenge to create such a small product with that wealth of features available to it so very very interesting times for the drone market it will be interesting to see what else dji have come up with they certainly are the front runner in the pack and uh, just leave the competition for dust so very exciting times in the drone industry if you've got yourself a decent drone already don't get drawn into you know sinking thousands of pounds just to stay up to date their review cycle is so frequent that i would not be at all surprised if we see a mavic pro with a full 360 degree obstacle avoidance system the same as the phantom 4 professional has uh, and indeed with the inspire i would not be surprised if we see an iteration that has a full 360 degree uh, obstacle avoidance i think we'll end up ultimately in a position where we're talking about six axis 
avoidance so that's forward backwards left and right up and down it seems to be where the market is going of course cameras are improving on the products as well so the phantom 4 professional also uh, features an improved camera that camera has a one inch sensor within it it also has a mechanical shutter which prevents some of the rolling shutter distortions that you can see on the Phantom 4 where it effectively at the edge of the frame begins to twist and bend certain images. You have to look quite hard for them to be fair but they are there if you look. Um, all in all, interesting iterations and step forward so I really look forward to see what else DJI come up with. GoPro, I think you seriously need to get your game together. Okay guys, thank you for watching. If you're not already subscribed, please do so by bashing that button there, and I'll see you in my next video.